For your surprise resource this month, I have a grief board game. So again, not a fun topic, grief, but it's really necessary. We're going to get referrals for this. And around the holidays, it can be especially challenging. But why I think you should use board games in counseling are they are engaging um, and memorable. So it's, you know, like a switch it up kind of activity. So it makes the kids remember the content that you're discussing. And they're less intimidating than discussion cards. So with a topic like grief, we want to be really sensitive um, to our students' needs. And we want to make them feel comfortable as possible. And so this is a good way to get them to open up. So here's the picture of what it looks like in actions. So they're going to roll the die, and then based on where they land, answer the corresponding question, follow the directions on the card. And there are three different types of questions. So there's the my feelings ones, where they're talking about different feelings, um, overwhelmed, and then it's talking, you know, giving a scenario, like maybe you feel angry about your loss, so you kick your sister. What's a better coping strategy you could do? And then so many questions. So then you're just asking them different questions. Who's someone at school you can go to with your questions that you have about your loss? So there are 24 game cards in three categories. So you can play with a small group. If you have a grief group, this would be great to play. Um, or you could even do this during an individual session. You could play with the student, but obviously they would be answering the cards. Okay, I hope your students who are struggling with grief and loss find this resource helpful.